Hi, I'm Adam Lovenbrook. I'm a neurologist at Hennepin County Medical Center. I'd like to tell you about a diagnostic service we offer at HCMC called autonomic testing. Autonomic testing is a test of the autonomic nervous system, which controls blood pressure, heart rate, sweating, and other automatic functions of the nervous system. These functions can be altered in several common neurologic conditions, such as peripheral neuropathy, Parkinson's, or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. These symptoms can be mimicked by several other common conditions, even when autonomic function is normal, such as in disorders of the inner ear causing vertigo, in epilepsy with unexplained loss of consciousness, or in cardiovascular conditions with fainting or low blood pressure. Autonomic testing can also be useful for identifying and evaluating small fiber neuropathy. In small fiber neuropathy, several of the same symptoms as common peripheral neuropathy are present, such as burning or numbness or tingling in the hands or feet. However, in small fiber neuropathy, common tests for peripheral neuropathy are normal. Tests which might be normal include EMG or neurologic examination. Autonomic testing is comprised of four parts, all of which are painless and non-invasive. Altogether, the test takes about an hour. In the first part, we measure the amount of sweat produced by four standardized skin sites. This is tested because sweat glands are supplied and controlled by small fiber nerves in the skin. We do this by administering a small amount of reagent into the skin and then measuring the sweat produced using a specialized device called the Q-sweat. In the second part, we test the response of heart rate to deep, slow breathing. We do this by having the patient take deep breaths following a visual cue while we monitor heart rate from heartbeat to heartbeat. We analyze the beat-to-beat -beat heart rate changes with specialized software. In the third part, we test heart rate and blood pressure responses to the Valsalva maneuver. The Valsalva maneuver consists of blowing hard into a tube against resistance. This normally causes a rise in heart rate accompanied by fluctuation of blood pressure. Heart rate is again monitored from beat to beat. Blood pressure is also monitored from heartbeat to heartbeat using specialized external blood pressure cuffs worn on the arm and fingers simultaneously. The heart rate and blood pressure changes are measured and analyzed using specialized software. In the final part of the test, we measure heart rate and blood pressure responses to tilting the patient up from laying flat to upright using a specialized table. After the patient has been tilted up, we watch their blood pressure and heart rate for up to 10 minutes. Some patients with autonomic dysfunction will have an excessive drop in blood pressure or excessive rise in heart rate accompanying symptoms of lightheadedness or dizziness. The complete test takes about an hour. It provides in-depth information about neurologic function which is otherwise not apparent on other common tests such as the neurologic examination or EMG and nerve conduction studies. Our technicians perform the study in the EMG lab at HCMC where we have a philosophy of respect and compassion for all patients and try to make the test as pleasant and informative as possible. We hope you'll come see us. Thank you.